Hello, everybody! Welcome to listening to FNAF songs I've never heard all by myself. I'm amazing. There are definitely plenty of new songs that have come out that I haven't heard yet. I want to hear them and give them my opinion. Oh, sorry. Okay, so the first song we've got is Ruined Lullaby by CG5. Oh, wow! I hear a voice in trouble. All right, I want something to make me jump out of my pants, but I'm not gonna jump out of my pants on stream because that would be for a different platform. So anyways, um, Rocket Music has released a mimic song. I will give my honest opinion. By the way, I'm focusing on the music, not the video, but if the video is cool, then cool, but I don't care right now, okay? It's the music. I'm calling now, guess I'm begging you. Memories, memories fading quick. Crumbled in the ashes, here they live. Here they live. Glowing red, glowing red, I'm seeing pure evil in my eyes. I'm out of my mind. Out of my mind! I'm trying to enjoy it, I'm trying to, I'm trying not to be so sensitive. Okay, Fable! Hey! Hey! Yeah! Hey! Bad word! Just a minute. That was the best part of the song. I feel like Rocket really started off super slow and had a lot of random melodies. And I get that there's like a slow start and everything, but it seemed like the mel his melodies were going like all over the place. But as soon as Fable came in, I was like, this is crazy. I'm not scared of my enemies. I'll just fade to another drive. What was that? <laughs> I'll just fade to another drive. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I, I get it. It's a, it's a musical. It's cool. But I just keep imagining him just going like, I'll just fade to another drive. It's I. I think the chorus maybe could have been stronger, but I think that melody was pretty good. Abel hit his verse hard. As soon as he came in, I was like, this is different. Whoa, where'd he come from? But it was a very strong rock song and I'll give that one a seven. Next, this is Lovely Things by JT Music. What am I doing? Lost in this room. How did I end up like this? When you get nothing, nothing at all to do. This sounds very reminiscent to the old JT for Naf days. In my life I've dreamed up some lovely things, but this won't be one of them. In my time I've seen lots of lovely things, but I'm far from done with them. I took after you, I learned what a good first impression will do But I never even got a little light to guide me So I wouldn't say nice guy quite describes me uh, My yeah, copy, yeah, pace yeah, of yeah. Mega Plex ain't mega clean You'll never get to Gregory When you live for dead, right next to me We can reminisce reflectively In my life I've dreamed of some lovely things But this won't be one of them See, I'm seeing a lot, guys time, That's a good sign But I'm far from done with Okay, yep, that's it. That's, that's what I'm talking about. I have a bit of gripes with how it began, but it's very traditional of JT to begin songs in this way sometimes where it comes in to something you really didn't expect. I also have production gripes. The production is kind of bare. So I'm gonna give this song a 8.5. Next song. This is Get Away by Try Hard Ninja. Flashing out and trying to bind Every time I see those eyes My heart scales Oh, oh Get away, get away, get away Remind myself to look back Find a way to escape from this place I'm running out of time Get away, die, die. All right, 
Convince me. Convince me that this fits with the song, please. Getting used to this verse melody. I feel like this is one of Trier Ninja's strongest choruses of his career. Find a way to escape from this place. Except for that part. Pretty basic bridge. Get away, get away, get away. Get away! Okay, again, production gripes. His chorus, it was great. Certain part in there I was like, eh. But I love the get away, get away, get away. It like had me bopping my head, you know, right? And then the dubstep drop came in and I understand what they were trying to do. Like I could hear exactly what they were trying to do, but it, they kind of missed the mark on that. Even though it was a big dubstep, right? It was supposed to be massive, right? It kind of like toned down as soon as that dubstep part hit. I feel like the drums could have been wider, a lot more compression or something in different portions in different tracks. Like the drums could have been huge. Ignore that crack. It wasn't too bad. Verses were meh. I'm gonna give that song a 7.5. Next, Lost Souls by Chewy Cat. Not as popular of one, but hey, that's why we're listening to it. We are coming now. Good luck making it out. Did you hear a sound? Must just be in myself. Take a deep breath because it might be your last. There is no way. That sounds familiar. Everybody gonna, everybody gonna die tonight. Nobody ever, ever can put up a fight. Can't escape death, it is surrounding the night. Whispers of the lost souls and it sounds like That sounds so familiar. Why does it sound so familiar? I hear it. It sounds like a song that I know. It's Summer Love by Justin Timberlake. Oh! It's Summer Love by Justin Timberlake! Probably never heard that song. Aside from that, <laughs> that was killing me for a second. The vocal production on this song, which I've, I've noticed for most of Chewy Cat's music, his vocals always seem to be in front of the mix and not inside the mix. But I feel like the vocals could have been brought down volume wise a lot and compressed and mixed in more. Really just like honing in on the suburban production. Strong melodies. The song has great potential. I'm gonna give that one a 7.5. Five as well. Always wanted by Beatrice. I like that. It does sound like Buffalo. Basically just Buffalo. Combined with Hyper Pop. This production is great. Oh, I liked that. I liked that part. I love the ambience in this production, the grass and stuff. That was golden. I, I know Mietris and Say Maxwell. English is not their native language, so I understood that the lyrics were a little bit wonky, and that's fine. Looking past that, 
pretty good. The production was all there. There were parts where I didn't really understand what they were singing without the lyrics. That always kind of throws me off a little bit because it's important to understand the lyrics, right? So I'm definitely gonna give that one a 8.5. Boom. Inside Us by Gatto Paint. Six years ago. This is a, this song is six years old. had something that I kept coming back to. The demons inside us! The performance at the chorus was a little rough. I don't have very many gripes with the production, honestly. I'm gonna give that song a 7.5. More Than Metal featuring Brandon Fox by Paladoptera. <laughs> It just started. Okay, that introduction was strong. Wait, what? Oh, I like that part. The introduction, strong as all heck. The production was really good there. The vocal production, however... It was basic vocal production. Did not fit in with the production of the instrumental. That's my personal gripe. You guys love it, You, that's great. The bridge was strong. The pre-choruses were a little messy. The verses were a little messy. Also, there were like multiple choruses. Like the way that they both, they all ended were different. So not a huge fan of that, but if you like that, then great. For me, I'm gonna give this a uh, 7.5. Next song, it's gonna be Still Alive. His vocal production on this is much better than a lot of his other stuff. This vocal fit is is inside the instrumental. This is inside the song. It doesn't sound like a karaoke cover, you know what I'm saying? I like the second verse. The performance is good. Love. 
Thank you for bringing that back. Okay, okay, okay. The first verse had me a little bit askew, but that sometimes happens with first verses. It's like, what's going on here? And then that second verse, it's one of his strongest vocal performances I've heard in a long time. I'm gonna give that song a, uh, probably a nine. I'll give that a nine. So guys, there's a song that came out two weeks ago called Burning Alive by Taj Che, and it only has 23 views in two weeks. So let's give them the attention that hopefully it deserves. Core progression. Day after day, night after night, trapped in a cycle, trapped in a nightmare, out on the hunt, out for blood. Get us out of here, please lend your ears. Burn away the husks we are. Good melody. Cause we're burning alive. The end is coming, take me. I like that. This is a strong song. Freaking 23 views is criminal. This is great. It's really simple too. I like that. Now my gripes, all right guys? Cause I always have gripes. The verse lyrics, I was kind of trying to wrap my head around. Some of the lyrics were a little rough, but strong bridge. Rough production, of course. I think you probably just did what you could, but with what you had, you did great. Shout out to Kaj Che. I wonder if they'd be down with like releasing a new version, but with my feature. I would love to sing this one. And I'm gonna give that a 9.5 out of 10. Ruin by Alpha 25. Okay, correct me if I'm wrong, but this sounds a lot like he's trying to be DA Games. But the song has just started, so let's just keep listening. Everything is crumbling around me, and I got nowhere left to go. I'm bound in Saturday. When a demon starts to show, I the only vessel, the only vessel, the only rust around me. I see all the pain. I think you did what you could with the production that you had. Vocals were... Yeah, it's, a, it's okay. It sounds like you took a lot of inspiration from DA Games, but it was still like your own original stuff. I liked the chorus. Like that's something that can get in your head, right? I liked that. I think it was a pretty standard song and I'm gonna give that one probably a six out of 10. Okay, hello JR Music. He's got a song called Strings Attached featuring Cryfuse. Strings attached to make me whole, giving a present to these souls. Okay. Okay. 
I know that loop. I know that drumming sample in the background. It's a very, uh, it's, nobody cares. Okay. No secrets that you don't know. Do something with the strings I tend to let go. Deep in the halls, face your size go. Like a tick a tock on the clock on the strike. Oh! No secrets that you don't know. Approach it for the sex, that's a no no. We're able to arrive from the cell hole. When the time is right, we're the strike. Okay. Bruh. Oh, that was the entire song. Strong production, not bad. There could have been a lot more. I couldn't understand where the chorus was, and I thought that there was like a pre-chorus, but that was apparently a verse. But then the second verse came in, and it was really nice, and I thought that was a second verse, but it might have been a pre-chorus. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to give that one a 6.5. Next, run by XXTHA. Convince me. Convince. Kevin! I love Kevin! I don't know who Kevin is. You don't know about the whispers. Flying dormant in the shadows Sense your spinal life with shiver Something cold and something shallow The past is the past and you better run a little bit faster No turning backwards So put on your mask and prepare to roam this through and disaster Hesitate after I like the rhymes So you made some friends like they've ever been alive to care about you don't you understand the meaning of wires and machining? Have you ever heard of, have you ever seen? Have you ever ran, have you ever dreamed? Have you ever laughed, have you ever cried? Have you ever danced, have you ever died? I have never heard of, I have never seen. I have never danced, I have never died. The past is the past, and you better run a little bit faster. No turning back. The past is the past, and you better run a little bit faster. No turning back. I like that. Like, there's something that you could sing along to. But the verses, wasn't really anything to sing along to. Very messy verses. Pretty bare production, but you did what you could with what you had, I'm sure. Not a bad vocalist. Good job, Kevin. I'll give that one a seven. No, now I'm thinking about it because the verse is really missed. Gonna have to be a 6.5. I'm really sorry if I sound mean, guys. Okay, this is Therapy by Night Cove the Fox. Production is good. I like the production in this part. I like that. I find it kind of funny. What just happened? I find it kind of funny. Hey! Please pardon me if I'm. Yes, it's strong. I think I want to listen to that again. The production on the choruses, I feel like could have been a little more going on, but the melody on that the, those choruses is so strong. It's so good. Dry and simple, but in a good way, especially on those verses. Production on the vocals was a little bit tinny. I'm going to give that one a 9.5.